You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his support of Team Bahrain's relentless efforts to combat COVID-19. His Royal remarks follows a statement issued by His Majesty the King marking the conclusion of the Ashura religious holiday. His Royal emphasized that His Majesty the King's royal directives and leadership has guided the successful national effort to protect public health. He reiterated the importance of facing the challenges of COVID-19 with perseverance and resilience. His Rohan has commended the efforts of all those who have contributed to protecting public health. This includes the Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, and the Jafari Endowments Council. His Rohan has also thanked religious scholars, sheikhs, heads of matems, and volunteers who have tirelessly worked together to ensure precautionary measures are followed at all times. His Rohan the Crown Prince highlighted the kingdom's close-knit, cohesive, pluralistic society which allows for religious freedom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Rohan is concluded by wishing His Majesty the King health and happiness and further prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Council of Representatives Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal hailed the success of the Ashura season, commending the efforts exerted by the Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Health, Jafari Endowments Council, and all other competent authorities. Zainal described Bahrain as a country of religious liberties, respect of pluralism, diversity, and coexistence, paying tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his care and support. She praised His Majesty the King's keynote address, marking the success of the Ashura season, and hailed Team Bahrain's national efforts, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin. Hamad Al Khalifa. Zainal lauded the dedicated efforts and active role of all the members of Team Bahrain and medical, health, and nursing frontliners and other supporting parties, as well as scholars and religious figures, which contributed to ensuring compliance with the mandatory precautionary measures for combating the novel coronavirus. The speaker also lauded His Majesty the King's care for all religious rituals and events, which reflects religious liberties and the value of coexistence, tolerance, and diversity in Bahrain. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, hailing royal care for religious rituals. He said that His Majesty the King's support to religious events reflects Bahrain's respect for all faiths and doctrines, as well as firm approach in consolidating the values and principles of coexistence and community fraternity, which marked Bahrain's throughout history. Al Saleh said that the royal address at the end of the Ashura season reflects His Majesty the King's humanitarian approach and a culmination of the government's efforts, chaired by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Shura Council Chairman praised the contributions of all official establishments and voluntary parties, as well as their keenness on the success of the Ashura season, appreciating the role of the Ministry of Interior, Jaffrey Endowments Council, and heads of community centers. Starting today, the Kingdom of Bahrain began implementing the yellow level procedures within the traffic light mechanism to measure the spread of coronavirus. This procedure will continue for 14 days as the national medical team noted that the green level will be implemented as a minimum for the traffic light mechanism starting on Friday, the 3rd of September. The application of the yellow level measures comes two days after the application of the orange level measures during the Ashura holiday. The national medical team stressed that some occasions are not subject to the light signal data because the gathering poses a threat to the health and safety of everyone. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,129,629 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,074,838 had taken the second, and 233,848 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,132 with 99 recoveries and 96 registered new cases and no new deaths. 29 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 46 were contacts of active cases and 21 were travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.